Hey everyone, I'm Lexi, I'm a part-time reseller and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about your shipping options with Poshmark. To start off the video I'm actually going to read straight off of the Poshmark website their like support center about what you can use it's like really controversial honestly about what you can and can't use on Poshmark um, even though it's super simple but I've heard horror stories from resellers going to their post office with the correct packaging and still being told that they can't use it so being said that this is from Poshmark, so what kind of box can I use when I ship out my order? Okay, Poshmark uses USPS Priority Mail for all US orders, so that is why you are able to use the Priority Mail shipping boxes, because you're shipping it via Priority Mail, okay? So per USPS policy, the maximum combined length and girth of the box must be no greater than 108 inches. Okay, so this means that the combined measurement of the longest side of the box and the distance around the thickest part of the box cannot be more than 108. Then it says orders can be shipped using boxes that are labeled priority mail, priority mail flat rate, and regional rate. Okay, so whenever you go into the post office and anyone gives you a little trouble about using those flat rate or those regional rate boxes, they, they really shouldn't, they really can't. It even says on the label that you can use it, um, but just know you can. Um, and then of course you can use your own standard brown boxes and padded envelopes and poly millers or whatever. But you have to remember that the combined length and girth of the box must be no greater than 108 inches, all right? Um, also, of course, you know it has to be five pounds or under unless you purchase that um, bigger shipping label or like you upgrade your shipping label to more than five pounds of course you have to pay a little bit more which comes out of your pocket okay the only way that the buyer could pay more is if you had an agreement and you like added more to the purchase price if you had something for 20 bucks and um maybe they want to bundle it with something and you know that those two items together like two 20 dollar items together is going to be more than five pounds then you can go in and say okay well it's gonna be 20 and 25 dollars do you understand you have to work with your buyer on that otherwise it's just going to come out of your pocket all right so i'm going to show you my favorite priority mail boxes that i use and if you stick around i'm also going to do a screen recording of how to order your own priority mail boxes for free you guys completely free so let me show you some of my favorites so the regional rate boxes are probably my absolute favorites um, when it comes to actual boxes. They're like such a great size. So this is the regional rate box A. And this one is the smaller of the two. But it is a great, great size for small shoes, clothing, small bundles. I don't have any of the regional rate key boxes because that is also a favorite of mine and I tend to use them a lot. Um, those are a little bit bigger than this. More square shape versus the rectangular shape. They're great for like sweaters, thinner jackets, um, things that aren't going to feel like fit in a poly mailer but you don't want a huge giant box. Okay, I also like these boxes. This is just the mailing box. Um, seven by seven by six inches so I would say this is like I call it like a coffee cup box because that's what the size is perfect for like coffee cups and hard good items like that the large mailing oops the large mailing box which large mailing box and it is 12 by 12 by 8 inches um, I think this is the biggest box that they have it's the biggest one I've ever gotten anyway um, and it is great for bundles and big bulky items like jackets um, boots can even go in this if they're not like if they're soft 
um, shaft so that they can fold over. Um, yeah, this is a great, great size. Then I have this size is just a mailing box and it is seven and an eighth, five and an eighth by 14 and three eighths. Um, this is often called like the shoe box. And of course, I think because you can actually fit some shoe boxes in here. Um, but these work for a lot of different things like sweaters can go in here really nice and easy. Um, you should have all kinds of stuff in here. Guess what I found? I didn't even realize I had any. I must have just, this is the regional raid B box that I said I didn't have any of. But I just want to show you the size because it's a great size. So yeah, so as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger than the other one. It's more square. It's still rectangular shape, but it's more square. Great size, great box. All right, I really like these two because um, they are self-sealable, so you don't even need tape for them. Um, this is the small flat rate box. And it folds up and self seals like this. Now, yeah, you have to have small items for it, but um, it works for like smaller breakable things or things that you don't want to like be in a poly mailer. And they come flat like this. Folding kind of takes, it's a learning curve, but you can do it. And then these, so this is a medium flat rate box. I am not 100% sure, but I think they have these that aren't flat rate, but they're the same concept where they're this um, flatter box. And this does really well for jeans and sweaters and jackets like that. And it is also self sealable, so you don't need any tape. All right, and then the last two, USPS packaging types are my favorites. So this is the flat rate envelope, the padded flat rate envelope. So it's got bubble wrap inside. Awesome. And it's self-sealable. And then this is my most used. It is just the Tyvek mailing envelope. Um, self-sealable, self-sealable, put in the room, very sturdy. Love these. And one last thing that I like to order from the USPS.com are these stickers. And the reason is because if you happen to use a box that's not priority mail, like we, I said earlier, like you can use just, you know, a round box that fits the dimensions and the weight. You can stick this on it and it kind of helps the post office recognize that even though this isn't in the priority mail packaging, it is actually priority mail. So I like to do that just to help, you know, make sure my stuff gets where it's supposed to go. So I'm going to hop over onto my computer and we are going to do a screen recording of how to order all of these supplies for free. Guys, you can totally do this on your phone, but I'm going to show you on desktop. Go to USPS.com and you're going to click on shop and you're going to go down to shipping supplies. Once that all loads up, you're going to look to the left of your screen where it says filter by and you're going to scroll down to where you see free shipping supplies. You're going to check that box right there. And what you're going to see here is only the shipping supplies that will cost you zero dollars to have them shipped to you. So as you can see, that's the shoe box I showed you. There's so many more options. Something to remember though, all of the ones that say express, priority mail express, you cannot use those for Poshmark. Okay. So nothing that says express can be used. And it's kind of easy to tell the difference because the express is blue while the priority mail is red. So if you ever see any of your packaging with blue rather than red, check and make sure it's not Express because you cannot use Express for Poshmark. So as you could see, there's four pages, there's 67 results for the shipping supplies. I 
have scrolled through this so many times. I've tried so many different size boxes and types of boxes. It's so, so nice to have all of these different options. And you can kind of decide what works best for you. Usually, you can also find these at your post office where you can pick them up for free as well if you don't want to actually put in an order. All right, let's add to cart something and I'll show you how the checkout works and show you that it really is zero dollars. So these are the regional rate box Bs that I love so much. You can see you can choose a pack of 10 or a pack of 25 and then choose the quantity, add to cart. We're gonna view cart. And as you can see, it says zero dollars under subtotal. Now it does say this about shipping and handling, but understand they are selling, they're actually selling supplies on here. So that is what they're talking about. But if only, if the only items in your cart are the free shipping supplies, there will be no shipping charged at all. This is completely free to be shipped to your house. Now I have an account. Um, but you can also just continue as a guest and check out as a guest and you'll fill out all your information. Your total will be $0 and then all you have to do is wait for it to show up wherever you sent it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please leave me a comment and let me know and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't and I will see you all next time. Thanks. Bye.